Hi, I'm Exesis and uh, welcome to Hearts of Mind 4, Laris Stones. Today we're playing as Historic England and uh, we're gonna start off with some template designs. Or look through them. So let's uh, bump into here and well, one thing we can start off with doing is uh, this is an anti tank and it's uh, some of the old ones are still using it. So let's Let's just rename it so we remember it. And we can use this uh, Expeditionary Force one. And just rename it the Infantry Division. That uh, way we can keep track of which ones actually have uh, the proper assortment here. And yeah, it's a little bit over with, but uh, that's fine. Doesn't really matter that much. So we'll rename that one too. Uh, we've also gotten loads of these uh, foreign templates. There's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, I will probably remove this tank brigade template, but I'm never going to use it. The camera brigade here, yeah, we can keep that one, I guess. You have this one derived from it. We can also pop over into. Where do we want to go? We want to go. Let's start out here with the uh, armor divisions. We want to make some changes here. We're almost done with our doctrines. So uh, let's put in some new units here. We want to have some motorized artillery and some motorized anti air to uh, kind of protect these divisions a little bit now that the Germans have such a good air advantage in the air and to add, add some extra punch to them. We'll also add some more heavy tanks and uh, that brings the organization down a little bit but we'll actually remove it a little bit more. We don't need that much organization. But on our tank units we'll pull three of those up, bring us down to a combat width of 20 and uh, and we have a motorized regiment, a light tank regiment, heavy tank regiment, support regiment. Of course they've got the hospitals, maintenance companies, logistics and recon. We've also swapped this recon attachment out for... Doesn't really matter which one we choose here. Looks like the light armor is actually just a little bit cheaper. Mountain now, plains and desert movement speed. And here's plains, desert. This one has a little bit harsher penalties on mountain, jungle, and harsh. And the big stat difference is this one gives us more recon. So we're gonna go with the light armor. This doesn't affect speed just yet, but it will do once we unlock the newer heavy tanks. So let's uh, lock that in. This of course means we... Okay, that meant that this one is done. That's weird, but uh, alright. It should auto-deploy since we got it set to West Midlands. It feels it's ready. We've got a little bit more of experience there. We can pop an additional and let's set the logistics companies in there, they do quite a big difference. And uh, then we just gotta collect some more, right? Done, so start off that way. Now, we also needed to have a quick look at the naval situation. We are losing a lot of convoys. See here, this is from the old, let's look at the last month. 63 convoys sunk the last month and it will sunk 7 submarines. Current month is 34 convoys to 3 submarines sunk. Uh, not very good. And it does look like a lot of them are going down right about here. So let's do something that the British actually did do in real life. And let's uh, see if we can get some of these carriers into a... Let's go could use Hermes. 
Hermes and Arn Coriel. Actually, I think the entire home fleet was out doing this. And at the moment we are supporting an invasion up here. Right, so let them support this and then we'll move them down. Looks like if we hit the North Atlantic Ridge and Iberian Coast down here and Adriatic Sea. It seems to be areas where we have very low convoy efficiency and western approaches. We'll move the home fleet out to patrol around here so we can help those numbers out a little bit. We're doing a little bit better in the Mediterranean. Let's see if we can bump up a few more. Let's so put two more in there on convoy. Score. That might bring the efficiency up a little bit more. And of course, we need to uh, actually start getting some. We've got a tribal class here, that's good. What do we have down here? Those are levels are cruisers. And we are missing ships here, so we need to start producing these hunt class ships a bit faster. They need to be probably a little bit higher priority. And we do need those convoys. Alright, so Polish leader offers some support there. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's our armor division. And seventh armor is down in Africa. I'm not sure I want to ship them right down there. We did lose our British tanks here, so let's pop them into the armor forces there. No. Let's see, who do we have in charge? I think we had another army with them in charge. Yeah, we'll look, we'll look that up. We do have another tank. That's a French tank though. But uh, nevertheless, that might actually be... Oh, we, don't, don't, we won't keep them in the... in there. Let's uh, create a new army there. Alright, so... Uh, Let's uh, create a new army down here and we'll, let's see, we want to go for uh, Brian Horrocks here. He's got an armored officer and we had him in charge of the uh, first armored here before. Let's just call this the first uh, or again, as we had it before. And uh, we've also got, we have an army too here. No, this is the one we're in. All right, so let's uh, let's get it to something that I'm used to. Put them uh, as space and red. Then I know they're tanks. And uh, let's actually put these French tanks in there too. Then we've also got the issue of uh, this uh, little guy down here, John Berger, Lord Gord, and uh, he did a pretty poor job down in the British Expeditionary Force, so um, let's uh, get rid of his army, he's stripped of his duties, okay, so we've got the uh, Belgian unit there, let's pop you in here, and this is under the French, I guess that's fine, let's actually use, let's see what kind of uh, armies these are, they're pure motorized, okay, these are also pure motorized. They're probably missing quite a lot of equipment. Yeah, they're missing all their motorized equipment. I'm guessing they all do. So um, they're not really fit for fighting just yet. But something has to be different in these templates, right? Let's recon and engineers, recon engineers. Because they were of different sorts. And that's very weird. But uh, let's select these. And let's go down here and see what the French have. Now we've got the... Well, it should be, no, they're the same. Good, good. And let's move those into the tank arm as well. Let's pop these down here under the same command. We will... We can actually bring him up to there for now. Since we are... We distribute be distributing these forces. We will keep, um, that's the Northern Command and Southern Command. These are garrison troops. 
they got anti-air engineers and a little bit more. I think these are actually pretty much the same, except they've got anti-tank and support artillery. So maybe we can... That's a Polish division. Let's pop them under French command. It's fine. We're just doing a little bit of sorting through here. And then we've got quite a lot of these infantry divisions with anti-tank, which I think is fair. Alright, so what do we want to do with uh, Lord Port's troops? These are good, uh, good infantry divisions. Let's uh, pop them in there. Do we maybe want to put them under... Yeah, we could have them under Orshinbeck. He might need some good infantry divisions as well. And let's see if we can't launch Operation Corp sometime soon. What's happening down here? Someone is not on their order. Is this one of ours? No. But we, it looks like we've started to save these two. Uh, let's go down to Singapore. It's one of the ones uh, British Malaya has built. Uh, we really need to start bum bunching up some people here on the Raj border. But we also kind of sort of need to fix this. Right, so we have Operation Fork ready to go. Let's unpause there again. And uh, the United Kingdoms declare war on Iceland. This, of course, was done uh, to keep the help keep the axis out of out of the Baltic here. All right, so let's go. Come on. Can I say go? Oh, okay, we're still waiting a few more days there. Alright, so we complete the national focus here. The defense of our empire. Empire begins with the mastery of the seas and the loyalty of our dominions. Other naval powers must be warned not to threaten our naval superiority. And, at the same time, we must exert increasing control over our subjects so that uh, we are strong across the globe. This uh, gives us three research bonuses to naval doctrine, which is of course very nice. And uh, there's a small uh, daily autonomy progress tick for all of our subjects. And uh, let's see, do we want to go? No, we shouldn't have to do that just yet. Hmm. Uh, that would be, this one would be very nice to pick up, as would this one be. However, and, uh, it's quite a lot of good uh, things to pick here actually. The Tsar mission would also be a very good one to pick up. But I um, do think it's actually time to do this one. Because we're in late January now and it's going to be 70 days until this one's complete. So that's going to be in April sometime. And in uh, May we go to war. To secure the oil imports. See if we can't. Uh, it should, should be this color that it launches as soon as it can. Right, so we got a Norwegian division as well. What is this? Oh my god. Um, Alright. You go, Norway. Um, let's pop you in here with the French. And I think maybe you guys need to hold some exercises. Only the Polish Poles came with a very good experience. Alright, so maintenance companies too. That's a instant increase in our well, the fighting capability, but especially the reliability there is really good. Alright, so we're in 41. Could actually do the atomic research for the research speed. Or the radars takes 44 days, that's the thing. That one's a little bit too ahead of time. So. Do we have anything still here? Yes, we do have assembly line production. Time to research, that's 12 days left, 96 days. 
So yeah, we'll use this one for I, I think. Yeah, let's pick up these radars. These are only land-based radars. We get the last naval radars down here on advanced centimetric radar. I believe we've got a boost for that one too. So we can get that one in 1942. And actually it does mean that this one is very urgent. Be nice to get down to these light bombing ones. I'm getting down a bit. Uh, that's a very good bonus. Oh, yeah, that's because we got the 100%, of course. This would be nice to pick up along with uh, these four. I think we're probably going to go down. Yeah, we can't really. Yeah, there's no. We really need to take some of these for the naval things. We need the better depth charge throwers. We've got one slot going for naval things, so let's keep that one so. Let's check what we got going here. So we got some got one on dock green there. So it wouldn't be wrong to go for dock. This one's gonna go for the next industrial research. That's also a very good bonus we got going there. And it wouldn't be a bad one to pick up either. And that one would be okay with quite a lot of marines. This is a really good one, we can get that in 42. We also want to get the tanks out. And I think a lot of those things are more best than that radar. Let's actually get these tanks. That extra speed does make a big difference. And then we got them knocked out of the way. Okay, so we've got some battles going down here. Nothing urgent Japan there. Japan demands French Indochina. Taking advantage of the French weakness in light of the struggle in Europe, Japan has coerced the new government into surrendering control over the colony in Indochina. Japanese troops have already moved to occupy all major bases in the region, and experts fear that the colony could be used as a launching point for future military expeditions. Vultures picking on a corpse. Alright, so back to the naval battles here. Let's see what's happening. I'm guessing it's just to... Yeah, we're down to 26% ex escort efficiency in some of these places here. Some uh, naval bombers would be really good here. Let's uh, pause it for a second. It looked like we were running out of things to build. Well, it does not really seem to be the case because things keep breaking. But uh, let's queue something up. We've got some... Yeah, we do need these naval dockyards. Would be nice to get some more infrastructure going, of course. But um, we don't want to build them there. Let's uh, build down here in Aberdeenshire. And military factories. Well, I guess we could go Wales. Don't really have anywhere else to start building them. We do have a few small colonies over here in Bermuda we could build something in. Yeah, we've got one slot down here, two down here. Actually four on here on Jamaica. Not that bad. Let's uh, let's keep those for now. Let's keep our factories here in the heartlands. And uh, one up in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, let's bump up Wales. And how are we doing for radar upgrades? Got one in the north, one in the south. Cover quite a big region. We will put on Iceland in a bit too. We are all upgraded down here except on Cyprus, which we are currently upgrading. And uh, war does seem kind of imminent down here. So it uh, would seem to say that we might want to build up some radar stations down here too. We want to have them on British Malay too. No, I think that's fine. Doesn't look like we can build any of them in India just yet. But uh, in Singapore, weirdly enough. Air bases, we've got a full level air base in Singapore. Oh, I just wanted one level there. 
Yes, so we've got some bases out here in the ocean in case we do need to use some naval bombers out there. We're doing fine around here. Don't need anything more. Don't think we need anything more here. It would be nice if we could use our marines in here. We've got a few things for them to do later on. Okay, so we sunk a German destroyer for the loss of... Jeez. They moved their... Scharnhorst, Schlesen. We've got a, quite a big fleet out here. Maybe we do want to have our... Uh, home fleet out here quite soon. Are they done repairing? I'm guessing not. Yeah, very soon. But we're just waiting for Operation Fork here and then we'll move. I think that's the fair thing to do. Okay, they're in port repairing. They should be. And I don't think we've got anything else here we can do very much with. We've got the illustrious, which is not done with their exercises, but they are working on them. These are all done. And we've got uh, quite a few new ships coming into service quite soon. There's uh, five new capital ships coming this year, which is of course very good. Let's see what more we have going there. Oh, this extraction campaign. Might be something we want to do that did increase the manpower, I think. It's up a little bit. For the cost of command power, we are at the command our cap, so let's click that, and uh, we're not doing it with the French, we're trying to get the French back on their feet again, okay, uh, it must be their big fleet out here, right, no, it's just they've got these submarines here, cruiser submarines and uh, tier 3 submarines, and they're getting past our screens, with no issues whatsoever, which is the way it's supposed to be. So they're... Yeah. We're not even finding them, I think, with these early destroyers. I think we're just lucky if we even manage to hit any of them. So they come in, they sink one or two convoys every time. Well, okay, so we need to re-decrypt some of these guys. That's fine. We don't want to reveal them. What are we doing for our operations? I think we've got one that we're still re-establishing down here. What are we doing in Germany? Did we have to re-establish here? Yeah, we did for whatever reason. I can't really remember why we had to do that. He doesn't seem to be doing very hot here. And maybe he needs to build some network there too. Alright, back to business. Let's see what we're doing down here. We do have most of the ports. We've got one infantry division guarding there. I think we want to push with our tanks here. Let's push to connect. And what are these? Oh, we're in low, low supply here. That's the problem when you start getting all these allies in, because they don't care about supply, which is a shame. Uh, let's see, we've got these three tiles can attack into the mountain there. Unfortunately, the Italians should be suffering in the same way. We don't even have anyone there. What's our aircraft doing here? We don't need them anywhere else then. Concentrate it right here. And these are flying in Egypt from there. We could probably move them down. How many are there? 200. Have them in French Somali land and they can help out here in East Africa too. Alright, so we finished concentrated industry. 
let's fix this. And we said we were going, go, going to go for assembly line production to increase that production cap by half. We're not capped on very many things here. Infantry equipment is one of them. Some of the lower tier fighters and things. Tanks, we're well, we gonna replace the tanks soon. We probably would need some new light tanks too, since we are using quite a lot of them. And we, oh, we've got a hundred tactical bombs that we can deploy somewhere. That's good to know. And that submarines, there are six and sixes and eights. That's uh, convoy battles. And these are 20. Oh, that's their main fleet steaming through when our aircraft attacking them, I think. What are we doing for resources? We are missing a lot of aluminium. Oh, we want to be up there. There, somewhere. That's because the convoy efficiency is so low. We actually don't have enough convoys at the moment. But let's see if uh, Operation Fork here is launching now. Oh, he's actually jumped onto the uh, invasion plans as well. That might be the... No, because it was uh, delayed already before. We would uh, probably only need two... Two... Uh, marine divisions to do Operation Fork here. There's... Uh, I'm not expecting to meet any kind of resistance whatsoever here. Might be one division though. I guess it doesn't... It doesn't really hurt the people. Uh, Brought some extras. And these are quite powerful divisions. All right. So uh, Iceland has capitulated. Winston Churchill has announced that the cowardly Icelandic nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of British forces through the country. The Icelandic government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and the United Kingdom is now in control of the whole area. Though the war against what remains of the Axis continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Allies. Great news. That's a little weird of a text for seizing this, but uh, we, we are seizing Iceland to help protect our trade. Now we can set up some Tactical, bom tactical bombers doing some long range bombing runs around here. Let's see if we can secure a little bit. So, yeah, that's great news. We also got uh, just a little bit of infantry equipment and some fuel. So, uh, we don't need this many people up here, obviously. We do want someone over here. Uh, maybe we'll send these two. And they are at the moment. Where are you? Okay, you're down in South Command. I kind of want to go to Northern Command. Newcastle and. I've been standing around a little bit everywhere. I don't really want to have them on this kind of order for what we're going to do now. Okay, so. You too. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo them down there. There's only two provinces here. That's actually three provinces. And um, we'll put both in Reykjavik, I think. I think that's uh, fair enough. There we go. We're also gonna have to build airbase. High priority, please. No. That's the wrong one. Control. And it goes to the top of the queue. Uh, we also want to have a radar, control and shift, brings it up to level 4 and uh, brings it to the top of the queue. I don't think we're going to need any anti-air and uh, we don't need to build anything because all slots are already built. We do have them on local autonomy. I think we want to have them on... Is it local? Yeah, local autonomy is the one we want. That's, uh, that's our democracy specified one and it will probably need quite a lot of uh, in the military police here in the beginning 
but it should quite quickly start ticking up uh, until we don't need any kind of local autonomy for here. So once they arrive, uh, these other forces can get out of there. This means we can uh, remove that order and they can just uh, hang around there. We do however need to clean some of these up. So leads I think is uh, one that we don't need, so they can move out to Hull. Edinburgh needs to be defended of course, Rosin is gonna need to be defended, as is Lanark. And uh, of course Scapa Flow, even though we've got quite a lot of people standing up their divisions, we will defend uh, Isle of Man and Belfast. Where do we have someone else? We've got in Cardiff, might actually be a good idea. Even though that could be a southern command one. We will put here on the Orkneys. Where's the Shetlands? And that should be the Orkneys, and this is it. And that's the Pharaohs. I think this is the Shetlands, right? And the Orkneys are the ones out here. Uh, far, uh, yeah, it does, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, don't get sidetracked. Um, here we go. And Liverpool. Well, we kind of uh, need to have someone up in Newcastle. So I think that's gonna have to go ahead of that. Uh, let's... We've got the French here in Cardiff at the moment. So let's put the Lancashire division up in Liverpool. I think this is fine for now. Decisions. Yeah, yeah. Expatriate donations. Who do we have in charge here? Yeah, we put you got the booth. And we'll just call this the Expeditionary Forces. Just so we can keep track of them. That's going to be good for now. We lost a convoy up there. We might want to. We have put. Let's go into C map mode. Put Bay of Biscay as a place we don't want to go to. Let's do the same thing here with the African coast and the Iberian coast. Now the Iberian coast we still want to go through. We kind of want to avoid that, but we do want to come through the Mediterranean because it saves so many convoys as opposed to going around. We don't really have the convoys to divert around what's happening over here. Oh, that's because we're training, so we're taking damage. I think that we need to use the ports. We've got Sussex down here and we've got Southeast. And they're not doing a lot of damage in the channel. So I think that's fine. We do, however, now have Yeah, we need to stop them from coming in this way, I think. Uh, Danish belts as well. This is just for the uh, trade uh, trade coming through. Western approaches we're going to have to come through. And the Denmark Straits. Yeah, we do need to supply Iceland, of course. No, but this is fine. And Denmark is still in control of Greenland. So we need to build up this airbase here. And then we can put some bombers on patrol. And that should be good. Maybe we could put someone up from... Who do we have here? Yeah, we got you regarding Ireland. I think that's a pretty decent idea. Let's put... Yeah, we're using some of these old ones, I think, for reserves. And the naval bombers won't have enough. Let's put up a... That's a small flight, 25. And two. Specialized air wing. Doesn't really matter here. No, that's fine. And uh, let's also put up some... Reconnaissance aircraft. It'll increase the likelihood that they'll actually find something there. 
these will fly in daytime. They're gonna do naval strike and air recon. See if we can't keep just a little bit more safe around here. And we probably do want to build an air base out here on Bermuda just in case. It can be down there, it's not a high priority. Because it's uh, kind of around here, we're in trouble. And these are. Probably want to build up this there, we've got quite a lot of space here. We had some more. No, didn't want that many. Get rid of one of them. Let's put one up there, daytime. Daytime down there. And they don't have a lot of coverage, but it might help us locate some of these submarines and that might help the uh, convoys either elude them or help bring some bombers in. So the Iberia is our local air zone here. We're kind of running out of these old fighters. Do we have any bombers or... I'm actually thinking we could use some, could use some of these old ones. Carrier fighters. Do you have any old carrier casts? Carrier naval bombers. We do have quite a lot of these. Let's uh, put up a small wing of these here. What kind of range do we have? Absolutely nothing. That's hardly even worth putting down here. We've got such a big trouble here at the moment, so let's put a few of them into the air and see if they actually do anything. It uh, could be that we just get a few of them out there and might be enough to sink one a submarine or two. And I think at the, this point, every submarine sunk is a good submarine. Because they are, they actually tore through our supply of convoys a little lot faster than I thought they would. We are currently missing about 200 convoys. Which of course means we are not importing anything at all. And that means that we are not building anything at all. Let's uh, bump these uh, convoys up a bit. Let's put 10 factories on it. And uh, these escorts are also gonna have, gonna, going to have to be very high priority. These will sort themselves out as uh, they're taking in, taken in and out of uh, from the uh, repairs. Okay, so we sunk, uh, sunk one 1936 submarine here. I don't think I've seen a single 1940 submarine sunk yet. That's a 36 one too. Yes, we've got some some aircraft out here. She got quite a lot of aircraft out here. We need quite a lot of aircraft to actually do an impact. Because it's so hard to find. Let's see if these actually manage to find anything. Up here something's happening. Now we're uh, fighting one of their escorts, I think that's going to put our fleet into repairs. And the, the destroyers there took quite a beating. You can see they're out, out here in the middle of the Atlantic now, Germans. And out here we can't really do a lot of a lot about them. Siam joins the Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. Earlier today, Japan and Siam issued a joint statement that the latter has now been formally granted member status of the Greater East Asian Cold Prosperity Sphere. Whether this partnership will be used for offensive or defensive purposes remains to be seen, but undoubtedly extensive joint military planning is already underway. The war escalates. Yeah, so then we're not doing a lot of damage to these either. And they're very far out into the Atlantic. Let's actually check here. The Germans now have a... Uh, don't have very good... Oh yeah, because we lost all of that. Let's scroll down here to the submarines. They've now got 66 submarines. And uh, a lot of them are modern types. These cruiser submarines are almost on par with the 1940s or the tier 3 submarines. And they've all got the raiding designer. They've got... These have a submarine visibility of 15. These have a sub visibility of 12. 14 torpedo attack. 
These ones have 62 torpedo attack. Wonder what happened there. But for some reason they removed some torpedoes there. Oh, that's a mine dang submarine. Why are they building mine dang? So many mine dang submarines. Because I haven't seen them actually mine anything yet. Let's zoom in and see if we can see anything building. And it could of course be starting to put mines down here somewhere. Well, doesn't look that. Yeah, down here. That's a 43% mines. Okay, so they, they are putting down... No, that's not mine, that's air superiority. Oh well. We've got a lot of these uh, convoy battles to deal with. Let's see how we're doing down here. So we managed to push, but not all the way through. Our tanks are out of position, unfortunately. Let's uh, move you up. Together, push and push through there. I think with four troops or four divisions, we should be able to take that. Looked like we were gonna win this tile, but didn't in the end. Let's send some more in there. Let's make a bigger attack here across the line. Okay. So we got the separate fire mains, that's going to help keep our ships in service. That's the damage control. Going on to the next damage control would be very very good as well. That's 70 days. And I think we're going to opt for going for the depth charge throwers. The uh, anti-submarine warfare is very important at the moment. Until we can see the convoys here go up into positive uh, number. We are in serious, serious trouble. This should change as soon as the tanks pop up there, of course. Let's see if we can't launch some... Yeah, they're, they're coming in to support. Let's push a little bit there too. Let's see if we can't shrink this pocket. Yeah, as low supply is really hurting us. Let's see on the supply map mode. Okay, so we've got 10 there. Can't really see what, yeah, what's, what's happening here. Ally 26, ours 14. And there is 22. And in this case, I would say that the allies probably need to back off just a little bit. And it will help us to clear this one out though. And up here. That's the same supply region. So maybe if we, instead of pushing there, we push there. And uh, let's actually halt this, these attacks. See if we can't... Where are we here? We want to extend this line. And we're gonna move the tanks over there as well. They do seem to have supply down in this corner, that might help us just a little bit. Let's bring this one up to doesn't really matter. The important part is that we do have a plan for all our forces, so they do get the planning bonus. This might be a good one, but otherwise it looks like we might have to back off some of our troops, because the supply situation here is not good. If we can take this port, of course, it will be slightly worse for the Italians here, because that's the only way they can supply. But they can't really get any supplies down there right now, anyway. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I want you to strategically redeploy. Oh, you too. Are you still in those supply? Okay, we had one supply here. I thought maybe, just maybe, we had it before. And what we'll have to do is, uh, first and foremost, let's uh, back the tanks. They can't be up at the front lines. We do have so many troops around here too. 
these are that is power divisions. Let's just try to sort through a little bit here. And I have these Indian divisions here. How many are they? There are nine. India, come on. King's third. Where are you, OG? Oh yeah, we have this. This is the entire. Oh. Okay, so they are also around here. Oh, we wanna select these two, and pop them out into the. I'm thinking the ninth. The ninth is up here. We wanna have some people up here too. It can be the eighth, which we currently. And the 8th are located there, and the 9th are currently just hanging about. Yeah, but that's fine. The free French have a some few groups around here. We'll take that for now, but we can pull some more troops into them from down here. We've got these 12. But let's uh, split those in half by pressing S. Put those in there. And let's grab the rest of them. Put them in there. And where are these guys located? Alright, so these are the ones that are on Malta. And they're on Cyprus too, I thought, but they're not. Up here they've got some submarines. Can't really do a lot about them. We do need aircraft in the air down here too. But we can't really build any more aircraft. Alright, so. Let's see what we're left with down here now. We have uh, this division and this division. 16 and 9. That's one too many. I want to move one of these back to. Oh, not the Malay command, the Burma. Did we have one over here somewhere? Hong Kong command, Burma command, where's the Burma command situated? Okay, they're down, both down there. Maybe one of them can be... Let's put one of them into there. And we'll just pop you into there for now. Because we're gonna need to start building up some more troops here. Let's go for the uh, Indian division. Where are you at? Let's look at the flag instead. There we go. Now we've already got a whole bunch of these guys here. Four divisions times twelve. These can go up too. Let's put them on that order now. We can deploy here somewhere. And we're gonna need... Now we'll see how many we end up with them. That line's done. Then we at least have some more under production. We put. Let's add two more there. This uh, looks very convoluted now. And let's get rid of these lines. Let's get rid of these lines. Oh, that left the entire East Africa army, of course. So let's split this in half. And we want to have uh, Black here. Uh, looks like he's got some skills he can take. No, he couldn't take skills. We're still waiting there. And uh, we kind of just have to back off a bit and we'll see what the supply situation is. And we want to go under there too. I think it's. Can we. I think we can probably. No. Nope. Don't want to do that. We just kind of want to. There, that's fine. Put them outside the chain of command of Montgomery because these aren't seeing a lot of uh, action at the moment. And let's just go down here too. We're just backing our troops off a bit. To see what the, what happens with the supply situation here. Get down there as soon as possible. 
Where are these though? Okay, they were located up there. Of course, they should be traveling by rail. I think as soon as we start pulling back, it should uh, solve it a little bit. We did take the port here. But they are pushing, of course, now. Yeah, we're gonna have to retreat there. And this uh, supply situation isn't really. can't really hold it. Okay, good. That means it goes faster for the other ones. And we've got a uh, severe shortage of everything we need. And do we even have any. Yeah, we do have some production of convoys going now. We've got some. got enough steel. Don't have enough rubber. To try. We don't have the convoys to import anything more either, so. It doesn't really matter that we try to import more. Let's see. Skip the rubber for now. Same thing here, this one costs a lot to hold up. Let's reduce that one a bit. We need to make sure that we get oil in. Uh, we're missing a lot of chromium too. Okay. So the supply situation here is, at least for our troops, it's better. We are currently withdrawing. We are giving them back their port there, and we'll have to retake it from the other side. Okay, so now we've got 9 out of 25 there. And I think we should be able to set up our tanks down here. Uh, this is uh, down there. And I'm thinking we might want to see if we can... Then this one's already up the north. Would be good if we could find. But I think all of the good divisions are already up north. Yeah, we were fighting with the kind of not the not the best of troops down here. Let's make a small change here. Let's move some of the infantry divisions down, and we'll see if we can launch an offensive down in Somalia here. Fulfilled in port, yeah, we know. We know. Lots and lots and lots of battles. Can we. Because we could push them around south, but I think it's better to have them going through the area here. That means we can concentrate the home fleet. Uh, we'll just click them out of here for now. Uh, We'll put them in here. And they should have the same tasks. This is strike force. We probably won't be needing these, but we can put them on strike force. And we will put these three on patrol. So we will have our aircraft aircraft carrier fleet out here on patrol as well. Which is gonna consume a lot of fuel. But hopefully we can uh, catch a few submarines. The aircraft should be very helpful if we manage to get them into combat. Because they're very good at both finding and destroying them. Okay. Actually I think the, the hunt class wants to do a decent job of finding them. It does look like we sunk one of the German cruisers. Which of course is good trade because they aren't building very many. How are we doing for aircraft? They are bombing us here and we are shooting down some of them at least. Looks like we have a higher... Yeah, we've got a much higher kill, kill ratio than they do. We're shooting down 26 aircraft or 2 lost. Uh, that's the radar doing that, so that's a very advantageous fight to keep keep the Germans coming in there. 
see if that one there. No, this one increased there. Well, that gives us extra factories here, yeah, of course we can take it. But we're not going to request uh, the Polish Navy, not yet at least. We can skip that one. We're not going to be doing it. Invading Ireland, no. Expand the Burma Road. Yeah, that requires the focus that we don't have. And the joint training exercise from Norwegian. Yeah, we'll do it. Let's free and this one, Polish one, and the Danish one. Can't do that. No, maybe we need to do some with Denmark. Let's see if we have anything we can do. East Coast political power. And I think we said that the speeches were better before. That the speeches are plain up cheaper. The other ones are for when they get over a certain amount of legitimacy. And that means we might be able to do this one too. Oh no, they don't have 10% full participation. That's where it fails, of course. Oh well, uh, that will be fine anyway. Let's just have a quick look at these combats down here. Nothing major. Greece is still Greece though. That is uh, always good. That's why we were saving these infantry divisions in North Africa. We could pop them over to Greece in case that we need it, but I think we need them down south right now. Because we want to finish this off as soon as possible. Australia is down here now, that's uh, quite fun. But it looks like we... no, oh, it's 8 out of 12. So many of them in here. Uh, I guess that was as soon as our tanks moved in, right? Only uh, 1.3. It's all these all these other divisions that can't really do what they, they want to do. Okay, so let's... Uh, I want to have them. Want to have them down here. And let's put them down there for now too. And we will, of course, put in the, the planning there too. For once we actually manage to get someone down there. But uh, that'll have to be in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. Take care and uh, see you next time. Merry Christmas.